Hi, this is DJ Dimaliwat and welcome to the third video of our Teams Onboarding series and I'm glad to see you here. Ibig sabihin, you're really committed to be part of our team and hopefully you're really excited na to start your journey with us and with Film Life. Diba? So again, our team is DNA Financial Advisors. We're growing this team to be really dynamic and in the previous video, we shared with you the culture of our team and hopefully excited ka to be part of that culture, that winning, uh, winning attitude of the team. And you can also probably contribute to it moving forward. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the team standards and expectations. Uh, and we would always want to set a high standards in our team because one thing I learned in, in building teams is that when you set a standard, people will gravitate towards that standard. Meaning, uh, if if mataas yung standards mo, even people who are medyo mahina o mabagal na performer, they will always gravitate and try to perform within the standard of the organizations because they want to be part of that. And kung masyado mo mababa yung standard mo, and even the high performers, may mga taong high performers, sometimes they will lag off, slack off, babagalan nila, or they will fit into that. Kasi pwede naman din na tolerate. No, so that's the reason why I want to introduce to you this, the, the standards of the team. So first and foremost, we expect 100% accountability, no blaming. No, again, no, we, not, we don't blame the company, we don't blame, blame our leaders, other advisors, even the country. Diba? Because when, when we blame other people, parang sinasabi natin, wala tayong magagawa, we cannot be successful. No, but when we are accountable of our own success, when, when we are facing challenges, nahihirapan tayo, hindi natin ma-achieve kung ano yung gusto natin ma-achieve, we can always do something because I am 100% accountable. You are 100% accountable of your own success. So that's the first, first requirement to be part of the team. You should agree that you are 100% accountable of your own success. Not your leader, not the one who invited you, but you. And the good news is you can do something about this once you decide that you will be accountable for your own success and results. The second, uh, second agreement is you should be a consistent monthly producer. Dapat every month merong benta, hindi pwedeng mas zero in a month. Diba? Bakit important siya? Again, we are financial advisors. We're here to really help and educate other people. You cannot do this paminsan-minsan lang. Unang-una, pupurol ka. If you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't use the skill, mawawala rin yan. Eh. So you got to continuously talk to people. And I guarantee you, if you, con if you talk to people every single day, every single month, impossible ka mas zero eh. And in fact, yung, yung skills mo mag improve pa nga. So you gotta commit, ngayon pa lang sinasabi ko na that being part of DNA of our team, you should be producing every single month. At least one, um, probably more, two, three, hanggang five, more than that because people have done uh, more than, than five, six policies, even ten policies in a single month if you're really dedicated. So we know that you can do it as well. The third thing, um, you can schedule JFW or joint field work with your leader or with the person who invited you, lalo na sa simula, so that matuto ka how things are done. So we can present at, for you first and then eventually dalawa tayo. And then sometimes we can be with you so that we can give you feedback. Um, there's no best way to learn more than the training. It's really the actual doing. And when you do it with other people and then you give, give, we can give you feedback, the people who you're with will give you feedback how you did um, must, must speed up yung learning. So, ang ganda nung experience na yun. Fourth thing, you always should be attending and engaging in our meetings and when we have team buildings like out of town events, maganda kasama ka. Diba? Uh, so, you should treat this business and us as part of your family. Hindi siya sideline lang or extra income lang. Alisin mo na yun. No, we don't like people na yun lang yung iniisip. We want people who are really committed, want this to be their second career or their second business or their main business na. Hindi yung kung kailan lang gustong gawin tsaka lang gagawin. Right? So, be engaged. Connect with people. Get to meet other advisors. Because in the future, you will be a senior as well and then there will be new ones. You get to also help them and welcome them to be part of the team. So, connect, engage, always be there. We really value attendance as well. Number five, you got to invest in your growth, both in attending training ng Film Life and even training outside, which is paid. 
Now, there will be, we expect you to invest in yourself because if you want to grow your income, you got to grow yourself first because you are the container, right? So if you want to double your income, you got to double your capacity as well. Double what you know. Grow yourself. Be excited. Continuous learning. Ako, I'm continuously attending training. Hanggang ngayon, I'm still hungry for growth. I know that I can learn more. I hope we can inject that culture to you and influence you to be continuously growing. We want you to have that growth mindset. Number six, number six, um, the goal is to really have at least 10 presentations every week. So talk to people, two people a day, 10 people in a week. Um, make it a habit to spread the good news of financial planning, educating people because take joy in planting. Hindi yung kusino lang yung bibili. Talk to people. Now talk to people, just talk to them, and then eventually you know you will harvest. Right? So call people, set appointments, and be there to present. Ang goal dapat marami ka na presenta. So have that mentality. Now, if you want to be an MDRT, if you want to be really successful here, if you want to earn six figures in a month, 10 presentations in a week. Right? That's a commitment. Number seven, always be involved with the team. Meaning ke part-time ka or full-time ka, dapat full-time yung attitude. Again, hindi nga to extra income lang. Hindi yung magtatago ka lang. Di ba? We, even, we have a program no, to get you engaged and, and, and uh, get to know other people and work with them. And dapat nandun ka, uma-attend ka. Yun nga. So whatever the programs that we have, we hope that you'll take time and we actually encourage you and expect you to take time and be with us, connect with us. And if you can even suggest what you can improve, what we can improve, or what you can bring to the table, show up, right? So have that full-time attitude. Yung alam mong pag hindi ka nakabenta, you know, you're pulling the team down. Kasi ganun talaga, di ba? So dapat talaga, everyone will be contributing you know, because it will help push everyone up and it's inspiring. It will inspire, you will inspire other advisors to do well, you no? Know, dahil ikaw nagpa-perform ka. Which brings me to so number eight. Number eight is... Um, be an asset to the team. Meaning, as you continuously grow yourself, help, contribute. You have your own talent. I know I can learn from you. You can learn from us. We can learn from you. So if you're good in hosting, go ahead and, and you know, mag-host ka. Volunteer yourself to be a host. If you're good in designing, so help in designing the room when there is. Diba? Whatever skill that you can bring to the table, um, contribute. That's one way of servant leadership because I see everyone in this team as leaders. And, and having said that, um, I know that since nandito ka na sa third video, you can be an asset to the team because you are committed. Right? Number nine. Number nine, always stay connected. Wag, pag wala kang benta or nahihirapan ka, don't cut off the lines at magtago ka. Hindi yun. We're, we are not here just for you to, to sell. We are here because we really want to connect with you. We want to understand you. More so, if nahihirapan ka, challenge ka, plug in yourself to the system and to the team because most likely when you're down, probably there are people who are up who can pull you up because in the future, may mga ibang down then ikaw naman yung mag-inspire sa kanila. So continuously connect with the team. When we have events, na, na classroom session, go there. When we have Zoom sessions or online meetings, be there. Um, just continuously connect and always think, how can I add value even your energy mo? And of course, number 10, uh, finish this process quickly. So again, I'm happy that you're here. Third video. And then there are other steps that you need to do. Finish the process quickly with minimal supervision. You should be self-managed. If you want to be successful here, dapat hindi ka lagi fina follow up. You, you do it on your own. And, and you know, you can, you can really, you should be excited with what, um, what's next. No, ganon. So finish this process quickly. Um, and then ask the person who invited you what should do next and what does it take in order for you to, take, to get the license. So I hope you, li you like the, the expectations and the standards. And for, you just, for me to just share with you the next step, uh, next steps, the number one, you got to send your resume to this email address. That's recruitment.dnafinancials at gmail.com. And just send your best resume so that we get to know you and our officer will will review um, your your paper we titingnan din namin yan ng mga managers and then you will be invited now once you passed 
our screening, you'll be invited to join our meetings and some of our training programs uh, because this is part of culture fit for you to see what's the culture of the organization in real life. You know, whether it's a, an online meeting or a classroom meeting, we, that's part of the requirement. You got to attend. You got to uh, show up and be there. We want to meet you. Now, we want to see uh, if, if mababagay ka sa amin. Ikaw rin, kung gusto mo rin malaman, okay ba? Gusto ko ba yung trip nila? Kasi baka mamaya ayaw ko naman, di ba? So, uh, it's really a culture fit. We want to see if you're fit with our organization. And then, kasabay niyan, we will already be giving you the access in the licensing training. You can do it online or in classroom session. So, pag may mga classroom session na, pwede naman if you love attending in classroom but there there's already an e-learning course that you can finish at your own pace. No, dapat lang bilisan mo kasi medyo marami rin yun, so finish it as fast as you can. The fourth thing is there will be an initial orientation and documentation process. So we will um, let you know what will be the documents that are needed. So it's, we will do this either online or in the office no? so for you to get the, the the documents that are required as well and then we will teach you some things in order for you to start probably talking to people already. Start setting appointments, start presenting to them because you will practice. Because the fifth thing that we will, you will do is there will be assignments given to you in this orientation wherein you will be asked to write down uh, the list of prospects and then you got to set appointments and approach clients. We will teach you how to do that. And then um, you also got to practice some financial planning. Paano ba talaga mag-present at kumausap? Now, even without the IPOS pa, even without the product, because there are always two parts, di ba? Yung, yung concept, we will teach you the concept, and then yung product madali na pag ka. You should be practicing. We will, we will ask you to perform uh, a number of financial planning experiences and, and activities, no? actual, para that will be part of your onboarding process. Dapat nagawa mo yun. No? Then, pag natapos mo na yung licensing training na nakanina, na nabanggit ko, you'll be able to take the exam. There are two exams, OL and VUL. Right? And there's payment for that, 1,010 pesos each. So kung dalawa yan, around 2,000 pesos no, for the two licenses. Maganda meron kang license yung dalawa. Kasi you will never know what the client will get or ano yung babagay sa kanila. After passing the exams and all the training programs, um, you will be scheduled in manager interviews. Right? So there will be interviews of the manager, the unit manager, and the agency manager. Then after that, um, then kung kompleto na, nagustuhan ka, pipermahan ni papel mo, and then you will be uh, endorsed to be licensed with Film Life. There's a payment of approximately 3,000 pesos uh, for the two licenses already. Diba? So um, after that, pag lisensyado ka na, may mga required pa training na kailangan atinan. Hindi naman pwede hindi ka na uma-attend ng training. In fact, in our team, it's been a culture that every single week, umaaten ng training, we meet one another and continuously uh, check on one another, learn from one another, and have activities. Diba? Kasi important dito na ganun. So, um, there are post-licensing training that are required by the company and then required by us as a team. And then, of course, last but not the least, we expect you to continuously connect with us. Continuous team connection is the key. Right? When you're down, don't Hide, connect with us. When you're high, when you're up, masaya ka, share the energy, diba? because we also need that energy. So again, with that, if you like this video and if you like what I discussed, go ahead and go back to the person who invited you and tell them that you finished the video and to, to signal that you will be sending the best resume, your best resume in the email that I provided. And again, that's uh, you have to contact our recruitment officer and send your best resume to recruitment.dnafinancials at gmail.com. So with that, this is DJ Dimaliwat. I hope to meet you and talk to you very, very soon.